Hello Sonda High and welcome back to CQ TV. Here are your top stories. The CQ News team had a chance to attend EDOF. Let's see what they had to say. On October 23rd, 49 college representatives visited Sumter High for Educational Opportunity Day. Educational Opportunity Day gives juniors and seniors the chance to receive information from various colleges they may be interested in. Actually, it's one of the most important parts of the process. Uh, not necessarily before the application itself, but certainly before making a decision. And the reason for that is that students should see a small school, a medium-sized school, and a large school public and private, um, just to see where they really feel most comfortable on campus. A lot of students have like an aha moment where they know they're on the right campus, um, and other students aren't so sure, but they can at least see themselves living and learning on that campus. Well, we have over a hundred different undergraduate degrees, so it really depends on what the student is interested in. Um, we get a lot of recognition for our number one international business program. We have the number one public ranked honors college in the country. All of our engineering programs are number one in the state for faculty research productivity. Uh, we have a phenomenal school of music. I mean, it really just depends on what the student wants. Um, but the benefits of going to a large school like USC are that there are so many different options that regardless of what the student is interested in, they're probably going to find something for them. We're known for our marine science. It's, um, we're the only institution in the state of Georgia that has an active marine science program. Um, we're definitely known for our sciences. So we have forensic science, um, biology, chemistry, um, for sciences, engineering, as well as our business program. We have a, um, a highly accredited um, business program. There are only two um, institutions in the state of Georgia that has that accreditation, UGA and Savannah State. If you have any questions about college applications, see your guidance counselor for more information. When we come back, we have a story from the sports team and the entertainment team. Nigerian Art Ambassador Ivy Nkalo came to Sumter High on October 20, 2015 to host an art workshop with the students. With the recent flooding in South Carolina, Ivy Nkalo decided to come to Sumter High to share her work with the community. Nigerian Art Ambassador Ivy Nkalo came to Sumter High on October 20, 2015 to host an art workshop with the students. With the recent flooding in South Carolina, Ivy Nkalo came with a purpose to contribute to the flood relief, not just physically, but emotionally. Uh, the, I, I met them in Pennsylvania during another program I was doing. So they told me about the flooding that you guys had here. And part of the tenants for my work, part of the reasons that I do the art that I do is to visit disaster areas and uh, sometimes help out, just help people to uh, be happy to alleviate their pains a little bit, and uh, so that's why I came to uh, Sumter. And you know, some of the people around you have been affected by the flood, and uh, so it's just been wonderful to be able to, you know, visit some of the elementary schools and of course your school to do that. My inspiration is uh, a lot. I mean, the sunshine, uh, the fact that I come from. Uh, West Africa that is very close to the sun. Nigeria is only 14 degrees north of the sun. And uh, so uh, the sunshine certainly is one. Uh, I, the people in West Africa generally are happy people. So it also works into my work as an artist. But also the idea of grace, living together in peace and harmony. So all these things they add up to you know, make me the artist that I am today. This is because we come from a country that is closer to the equator. Only 14 degrees north of the equator. It gets very warm. You see a lot of music in it. You see a lot of dancing and a lot of celebration. Uh, sometimes the art is inspired by simple things like the horse's grace. So that's the front of my house in Nigeria. And uh, the, it's an old retired front that comes to drink water. One day I decided to paint a picture of it. So sometimes, Art is what we are all used to. To learn more about the ambassador, you can visit his Facebook page or his website. 
let's take a look at the latest accomplishments from our orchestra students. On October 19th, the Sumner High Orchestra had their fall concert. On that same day, many of these young musicians tried out for Region Orchestra. <laughs> state-sponsored event for the State Music Educators Convention. Um, we're broken into four regions. Uh, there's two in the upstate, one in the Midlands and the Low Country, which we're involved in. And it basically is a competition of sorts to where students can prepare music that's selected by the region committee. They come in, they audition, and then this year we had over 500 students audition uh, across the Low Country. And students are selected to participate in the Region Orchestra, which is a festival that's held in November this year. It's at Myrtle Beach. Uh, and basically they get world-class instruction uh, from educators from different parts of the United States. And it just gives them a chance to play on a different level than what they get to do in the schools. So, Annalisa, how long have you been practicing for Region? Um, I've been practicing since the beginning of the summer for Region. And were you nervous at all before Region? Yes, very. <laughs> and how do you feel now that you've made it into Region? I feel accomplished because I didn't make it last year, but I'm glad I made it this year, so I'm happy. And do you think that Region will help you become a better musician? Yes. Okay, kiddo. Time to catch the bus. Here's what you need for reading class. And here's your math worksheet and your practice tests for spelling, your shoes for PE. Sometimes keeping everything in one place simply makes more sense. And this one is for show and tell. That's why FTC offers phone, digital TV, internet, security, and wireless services. We're your one-stop shop for everything you need. For an inside look about homecoming, we now go to sports reporter Rachel Scott. Rachel? Thanks, Joy. Sumter High beat Carolina Forest 38-3. Class of 1985 alumni night was October 23rd. CKTV is also proud to announce our 2015 homecoming king, Quentin Anderson, and our beautiful queen, Jessica Harris, with Darius Moore and Brian Allen not too far behind for king, and Sabrin Hyatt and Brooklyn Gregg not too far behind for queen. Congratulations to our 2015 homecoming court. On October 23rd, Sumter High celebrated the end of Spirit Week with our first pep rally, which also honored all fall athletes, including the varsity of the football team. The team won against Carolina Forest Congratulations to the varsity football team for capturing at least a share of the region title this past Friday by defeating Conway 51-14. They will wrap up the regular season this Friday at Sox City. The first round of the state playoffs will begin November 20th. The JV football team will finish its season this Thursday at home versus Sox City. Game time is at 6. Congratulations to cross-country runner Brandon Poston for finishing 15 overall at the state qualifier. Brandon will be competing at the state tournament on November 7th. Back to you, Joy. For Student of the Month, we now go to Alaysha Maple. Alaysha? Thanks, Joy. Zakeem Jackson is a sophomore here at Sumter High. He's quarterback of the varsity football team and an excellent student involved in the Honors and Avid program. But that's not all there is to him. I got a chance to sit down and talk with him about his athletic ability as well as his humble personality. I manage my classes and sports, but I put in school first and sports. How do, you about, how do you feel about being a sophomore in varsity? I appreciate it because it presents a bigger challenge. Um, Coach Griffin spoke highly of you not only as an athlete, but as a person. He said you're really well-mannered and really humble. So where did all that come from? That comes from my mom and my dad. They installed in me. That means a lot. OK, what does AVID teach you? How does AVID help you as a student? AVID teaches you betting, better studying skills, better testing skills, just like 
It's all around learning, good learning experience. If you'd like to learn more about Sakim, check out the online article at theCQOnline.com.